North Node and Leo. What's going on? It's your girl D here. This is your November 2022 reading. Leo. Oh my Lord. I was trying not to be loud, Leo. I hope all is well with you guys. Thanks for coming to the channel. Let me see what's going on with North Node and Leo. So you're supposed to be mastering the Leo energy. This is all about self-expression. Tapping into your creative energy. Right? And people appreciating you and admiring you for it. You know, whatever you do, whether it's entertainment, uh, maybe you on a stage, people watch you, you perform in some way, shape, or form. You could be an Olympian, you could be an artist, you know, somebody who performs in front of people or audiences. You have the page of swords. But uh, maybe you're supposed to stand out in some way. You have the five of swords energy in reverse. You have the sun. There's Leo energy right there. All right, two more. Then we have the queen of uh, pentacles energy in reverse. Let's get one more. All right, the hangman energy came out. Major arcana of Neptune. Overall energy is the two of cup energy in reverse. So this is either um, somebody's just not interested anymore. Um, but like, I feel like this is a breakup. If it's a relationship, if it's a partnership, it's the severing of ties. Um, I feel like this could be like um, family members fighting also. Uh, but yeah, of course, lovers traditionally. But um, hmm. somebody, somebody uh, sees that no matter what they do, it's not going to work out. And they, they realize that now. They're seeing that now. This is what was not clear to them before. You know, and they're seeing that now. So, Or you're seeing it now. So, you don't even put any effort or energy into it anymore. You're not interested anymore. It's like, you may not be intimate with this person anymore or want to be intimate with this person anymore. It's like, now you make them wait. So, some of you could be doing that. Yeah, overall energy is the two of cups in reverse. You, they make you wait. Either they make you wait. Now it's like you call and say, yo, what's up? You know, you got to try, try to catch this person or they got to try to catch you or they avoiding you. You know, um, when it wasn't like that before, it was like, yo, whenever you call, you know, it'll be like, yo, within 24, 48 hours, you know, y'all would get together or make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And now this person is, you know, they putting you off. It's been two, three weeks. You don't hear from them or it's vice versa, right? Somebody is feeling this way about somebody. It's like they don't know what else to do. Like they, they try and they see that, you know, somebody's like putting them on. I don't know. Like this could be somebody being put in a friend zone. It could be that. But uh, whatever it is, it's like this person is realizing and it's not that it's being told to them. This person is coming to the realization that no matter what they do, you know, this person's not going to give in to them. They're just going to make them wait or keep them in the friend zone. Somebody could be trying to get intimacy from somebody and somebody's like, no, nah, I'm not interested. So we not have, you know, I'm not interested in a romantic connection. Or if you're not interested in a romantic connection, then I'm not either. You know, there's no need for us to recon reconcile. For some of you, this is somebody from the past coming back around. The reason I say that is because these cards right here, these top three cards that came out. So, you know, the Two of Cups was on, on top. Underneath that was the Eight of Swords reverse. And then we got the um, Three of Cups reverse. Some of you are like, look, I already know what time it is. I already told you what it is. I told you I'm not interested, you know. Or um, if you don't want nothing serious, I'm not interested. Or it's just, yo, I don't want you. Somebody may not be attracted to this person. They may not look at this person as someone who's attractive. They may look at this person as someone who is boring. Um, they're not no fun. They may not be physically attractive. Maybe they're out of shape. Okay? And um, this is somebody who, um, this is the way they look at this person. They don't look at them as somebody that they would want to be in a serious connection with. Or they could be just looking at them as somebody they just want to have fun with and that's it. They don't want it to go nowhere. But they want this person to stick around and continue to just be fun. And somebody's realizing that that's what this person wants and so they're not interested. 
but it's like this person wasn't telling them or something like that is what I'm getting here. But somebody came, it's like somebody came to their senses finally and saw that this is what it is. Or somebody's married to someone else. Or somebody could be keeping somebody else waiting too. It could be their child's mother or their child's father. You know, I do feel for some of you, it could be an energy of this person may care about both of you or have feelings for both of you. So they could be going back and forth between you and someone else and you're realizing that. This could be the person that he's going back and forth between or she's going back and forth between. Somebody they have children with, but they're not married to. And they got them waiting as well. So um, they could be that they have a child together too. This could be it as well. So somebody um, could be having a, uh, a child with, you know, somebody that they already have children with. And that could be going on. And somebody may, may have had no intention of telling the person that they're seeing on the sidelines. They, they're they not going to tell them. It's like, why why would I have to tell you? I don't, there's no advantage to me telling you. Yeah. That's what I feel like here. This person is like, okay, is there an advantage to me telling this person? If not, then I'm not going to tell them. So that could be going on. Somebody, uh, somebody could be pregnant or may have just had a baby. And maybe you found this out. You could have found this out about somebody. Or somebody may have found it that, you know. We're going to go in the extended and find out. So it's a couple different things going on here. You know, it could just be uh, that somebody um, may see that somebody doesn't have money. Somebody could be uh, homeless. They may lose, lost their job. Unemployed. They could be getting benefits, you know, government benefits. So that, you know, somebody may find out that somebody is being, has been getting government benefits. Or they won't, they don't want a relationship or move in with anybody because they won't get government benefits. This is how somebody's thinking. Or, it, you know, based on what they've experienced with trying to get government benefits, they realize that if they have somebody move in with them, that, the, the you know, that's going to be a problem. It's going to interfere with their benefits. And it could be somebody who just had a baby. And they may want their, you know, boyfriend to move in. Or maybe they don't want their boyfriend to move in because they know they won't get the benefits. Something like that. Yeah. You, you won't get the benefits. Hmm. But we're going to go to extended and find out what else is going on with this. So if this resonates with you or someone you know... Feel free to leave a comment about it or just come on over to the extent that the link is in the box below. You'll also find um, information on how to get a personal if you want it. And also the link to my other channel, which is called The Mini Styles of Terrell. Hopefully you'll support me over here and over there. And um, I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Later, North Node Leo.